Hi, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the 14 inch MacBook Pro. This applies for the M1 Max, M2 Max, and M3 Max MacBook Pro. So the recent video that I uploaded with the M3 Max MacBook Pro with the Carbonaut thermal pad I got some comments in there. One was Deshi Nevermore and he or she, because I'm not sure, he or she is asking a full tutorial of disassembling and reassembling the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So I finally got some time today and that's why I'm making this video. I'm not really good on making a tutorial video, but I hope you like this. Here are the things that you need. You will need T3 Torx screwdriver, T4 Torx screwdriver, and the T6 Torx screwdriver. You will also need a spudger. I have one and two. And you will also need a tweezer and a suction cup handle. Oh yeah, you will also need to use a P5 Pentalo driver. So let's go ahead and open the M3 Max MacBook Pro. The first thing we will do is remove the 9.3mm screws right on top of here. And the next one will be the 5mm screws. So what we need to do is we need to place the suction cup near towards the end of the bottom case so we can open this up. There you go. And the next one on the right hand side, same thing. So lift it up with the slight pressure pulling up and there you go. Use the suction cup again to lift up this area so slightly on an angle. Lift up the front of the lower case and pull it forward towards you. And now you can lift this up. So don't worry about the green thing that you see right here. I will explain it later. All right, so what we want to do next is this is very important. We want to remove the power data cable. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the trackpad cable first because I'm having a hard time uh, releasing this cable right here. Okay, there you go. I managed to remove it. So for this time, I will use T5. Okay, when you remove the battery connector, just make sure this connector right here is away from this metal. This metal cover just make sure take a picture of it is there's this top and the bottom you might end it up putting it uh, the other way So I will start on the right corner right here. So lift up the logic board very careful. And then you will see this rubber 
fan uh, gasket right here just release that and slowly lift up the logic board and work your way through do not force it and there you go here's the logic board of the 14 inch m3 max macbook pro what uh, i will do right now is just i'll move this on the side for now so now that we have the logic board released the next thing we will do is to remove this four t5 screws so that we will have access to the entry chip So I'm gonna lift this up and you will see the cryo sheet that I've already installed in three, two, one. So there it is. As you can see, it's still a cool piece. So the difference between using a regular thermal paste and the thermal pad, the thermal pad will last for a very long time. And it also gives you the highest thermal conductivity. And this is the cryo sheet from Thermal Grizzly. So that is the main thing. I did this because I want to achieve a better thermal conductivity, the better heat transfer. So I can prevent thermal throttling from happening from my M3 Max MacBook Pro. I paid a lot for this machine so I expect it to work as it should and full to its potential. So let's take a look underneath this cryo sheet and you will see it is still intact and the heatsink is really clean. Now what we're going to do is to assemble this back together. Put back the logic board on top of the heatsink with our cryo sheet. And as much as possible, you don't want to move it too much. Tiny movement will move the cryo sheet in place. slide in the left side and then you need to watch for the cable connector and the rubber gaskets for the fan so this connector right here you have to check that all right there you go those are the most important thing when installing the logic board back you have to make sure that uh, you get that as well okay. Make sure I will align the logic board. So I got this cable right here. Make sure the battery connector is not touching the metal piece. So I got the speaker, speakers left and right. I got this right here, the small connector right here, the cable, the Wi Fi 
fan left and right I got the USB one two three four and then this small guy right here and I think that's it so I think we're ready to install the uh, all the screws back so for that I will uh, put everything together and just watch the video So this green thing right here, remember, I told you that I will explain it to you. This is another TIM or thermal interface material. The heat will transfer from the CPU to the heatsink and onto the uh, thermal pad goes to the bottom case. So the bottom case serves as an extra heatsink. So imagine that you're using the bottom case to transfer the heat even more away from your 14 inch MacBook Pro. All right, so we are ready to put the battery connector. All right, so we're ready for the battery connector right here. Needs to go back there. And the last is the uh, trackpad. have successfully put everything back in place all right so installing the bottom case right now you have to do it in an angle and start right here the end side so slide this in there's a clip in there you just want to align it and as soon as you align this bottom case to the sides right there you're just gonna push it forward just double check you have everything aligned so there you go and then we need to push this down you just gotta find that there you go so one two three four i'm gonna start putting back all of this p5 screws Alright, there you go. Yay! 
So this model of MacBook Pro is not supposed to have any all of these smudges, but I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna wipe it first. Yeah, there's a lot of smudges. But one thing I noticed is it's very easy to clean. All right, there you go, guys. We have successfully put everything together. And thanks for staying with me. Open the lid, plug it in. From boot up, we have 40 Celsius degrees. And that is amazing. Efficiency, efficiency, <laughs> efficiency cores getting 39. The performance cores getting 40, 39, 40, 39. And the GPU clusters 37. And the rest of course is uh, very low in temperature. So there you have it folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. This is Outrun DYC. And see you guys in the next video.